So hello and welcome to my second harvest. Come on into my garden. As you can see, uh, things have grown quite nicely. I've had to do a little bit of rigging. As you can see, the tomatoes, there are way too many tomatoes on the vine, so they started trying, kind of leaning over. Uh, they kind of interfered with the broccoli in the front. I'll give you more information about the broccoli in a little bit. You can see I have watermelon that's growing nicely. There's one there. There's a melon here as well. But the purpose of today's video is we're gonna harvest some of the banana peppers. I harvested about six, maybe three weeks or so ago for Ethan's birthday, two weeks ago, yesterday for his birthday. And I have a couple that were left out here that I did not harvest. I'm gonna grab those today. Oops. There's one. This one needs to come off. Here's a banana pepper. This one needs to come off. And this one, the other ones, this, this is just grown. This is just grown. So we're going to leave these out here for just a little bit longer, give them some time. Also, our rainbow peppers, they're ready to come off. The rainbow peppers. I'm super excited to try them. It's nothing like having things come straight out of your garden. Rainbow peppers. A uh, couple of cucumbers, let me see. Uh, I think we'll take this one today. There's that one. Um, I want to leave that one just a little bit longer. We're gonna grab some of the, some of the, ooh, a couple of cucumbers over here. So we need to do, Ethan is, I'm gonna have to pull in the net even though it's not working as well now because the because the vegetables are so heavy. There's a cucumber, nice size, isn't that amazing? So we'll take this one today as well as this one. I'm gonna leave those two for a little bit longer. Let me see. Uh, okay, and then let's get a couple of tomatoes. So we have bell pepper. Oh, wait, let me get a little closer over here. Sorry about that. And we're gonna grab these bell peppers. It's a nice one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm so excited about that. Yay. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this one off too. Let's go around to the other side. So meet me on that side, Ethan. And, ooh, a couple of tomatoes. Most of them are still green, but I'm gonna have to cut them off and let them ripen in the house because I don't know if you can see, but the, the plants are so, they're so heavy. And these, these guys, they never did really do well. So I'm gonna be pulling them out and possibly planting something else. My okras this year didn't do as well. Also, usually I have these big tall bushes with lots of okra and they're uh, not quite, not quite like they used to be. A couple of tomatoes, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off and let them ripen. see if there are a couple more we may take this one off because there are quite a few tomatoes so we want to take some of them off so that we can still oh and some of the aromas this is my this is my um basil one is a sweet and one is a lemon and you're really not supposed to let them get to where they start flowering once they start doing this you can use the flowers but you're supposed to just pick off the the basil leaves and as you can see i don't i'm still working on the basil I'm still working on learning how to harvest the basil and stuff. So, um, but I'm gonna take a couple of these romas to try to trim. Oh, this one just fell off. This is so exciting. Let me see. And I don't know if you can, Ethan, can you see how many tomatoes and stuff are on here? So some of them, I have to do a little bit better next year with how I plant. This in the front is going to be my broccoli, and it did not do well because you're not supposed to let it bolt. I think they call it bolt to flowers. And if you can see this, Ethan, the tomato is so heavy. It has so many tomatoes on it that it's just kind of, it's kind of protruding in the garden. So I really need to cut a lot more of those off for some of them. I still don't want to take them off just yet. Well, this one fell off, so we're going to take that one in with us. And let me see, we'll leave that bell pepper a little bit longer. This is starting to turn color, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one off. 
put that over there. And let me see, maybe a couple more Romas. And you can see my Romas, they've, they've done quite well. Um, I don't know if you can have too many, but the way it's overtaken. So next year, Lord willing, next time I plant, I'll do a little more due diligence with making sure that my cages are really rubbed. Because these are old cages. And you can see this over here, Ethan. They, uh, they, they, they're not supporting the plants like they're supposed to. So we're gonna work on that for next year. And probably next time you come and visit the garden, you'll see I probably will take out the broccoli. The only reason I've kept it is because the bees like it. They still come and visit. So I've kept that there for that purpose. But you can see I also did a little bit of work up front and made sure that I put in some really nice flowers so that the bees would be attracted and that, that they would come. But uh, the tomatoes are just kind of, kind of out of control. So that's really my issue with with uh with this year so next year i'll know how to arrange i'll know how to arrange things a little bit better but for today this is what we're taking in a couple of bell peppers a couple of really nice cucumbers a couple of tomatoes some of them have ripened two of them are a little right and then a couple of uh rainbow the green bell peppers rainbow peppers i can't wait to try that and then a couple of banana peppers so that's our harvest for today out of my garden thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye